Hello club leaders, we hope you're having a great spring semester. We wanted to help share some advice on how you can safeguard your club meetings to better protect your community members during the virtual semester. Here are some Zoom do's and don'ts to ensure the safety of your upcoming events and beyond. Here are some must do's. Do make use of the host security settings to shut off participant camera, mics, and screen sharing when needed. Hosts can also remove participants that may be causing problems in the meeting. Do lock your meeting. Do utilize Peppervine RSVP feature for public events, then send the meeting link through communication with those who've signed up. Do always create a waiting room. And finally, do consider requiring authentication. Participants must have a Zoom account. The primary don'ts are as follows. Never publish meeting links publicly for a web conference. And if it's in your Instagram bio, just use your Peppervine link instead. Another important thing to remember is to never start a meeting without a host present. And it is a good practice to assign a co-host if the host drops off. Thirdly, don't create meetings with your personal Zoom account using zoom.us, but instead, Always create your meetings through your Pepperdine Zoom account using pepperdine.zoom.us. Lastly, don't forget to consider your surroundings and what is visible on camera. We want to take the extra step and show you how to safeguard your meeting through Pepperdine. So when you click events, you will create an event, do the normal steps, tell us about what's going on, all the fun things. Give us, if you're co-hosting with somebody, the start date. I'm gonna leave this here. Online location, if you're gonna use a password, feel free. But the biggest thing here is that when you add in something, we want to use the pepperdine.zoom.us. Moving on, we also want you to double check your event visibility. When you say show to the public, it means random humans and trolls on the internet can find your event and access your Zoom links or any other links that you're including without having logged into the system. As the ICC advisor, I have uploaded every single student onto Peppervine because we use the CAS login. So please be sure to flip this to students and staff at the Peppervine. Everyone will be able to log in. Everyone will be able to see your events unless you wanna make it organizational, organization members only. So these are your students if you were to do chapter meetings, e-board meetings, stuff that is just internal. As you're filling out the event additional information section of the form, you want to be sure to let us know what kind of event this is. If I'm having a general meeting that I think 20 people are gonna be attendance, you'd write more than <laughs> test in your description. If you are clicking Zoom, if you want more information, I've linked in um, a safeguarding meeting tip from IT here. We'll fill in none of these. No. Da, da, da. This will take you to a new page. It is called our Zoom agreement. It's basically what ICC has just gone over in this video with you for three do's and three don'ts for Zoom. Again, we're reminding you to use the pepperdine.zoom.us and again, linking in that IT page to help you better safeguard your meetings. We're gonna be asking that you've read this and double check that you have created a waiting room that you are making this event university only instead of to the public, ICC will no longer be approving events that don't fit this criteria. And basically, that's it. You finish off the event form like normal. If you have any questions or need help, please reach out to me, sabrina.willison at pepperdine.edu or reach out to ICC general at pepperdine.edu and we're more than happy to help walk you through this event request form. Keeping yourself and your members safe can be as easy as that. Checking your Zoom settings, considering how you share your links, and streamlining how your members access your events. Don't hesitate to reach out to ICC General at pepperdine.edu or IT at 310-506-4357 to ask any Zoom privacy related questions. Safe Zooming, club leaders!